All right. So good morning. Greetings. This will be on multiple platforms at the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier in front of the Prince Resort here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Sometimes it doesn't want to zoom out until I just flip it around. So the link of my YouTube channel is in the description and um, you can reach out and call me anytime if you like. I regularly add to my research library which includes a YouTube channel and it's all linked together with my name and phone number and all of that. So very likely I will go ahead and put this on a rumble or bit shoot video. And I've got to be rather circumspect with what I say, rather cautious, a bit of um, what, what I would call self-censorship or my YouTube channel would get taken down. So the story I'm telling is with uh, the use of other people's created content. Almost every day videos and channels get removed from my library and certainly off of the internet. The truth is the most censored topic there is, always has been. It's one of the uh, primary weapons in the arsenal, truth and deception. Ultimately, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. What I do is I, I have my uh, car and cards and stickers around that people can uh, come on by, take a picture of. If they like, give me a call. Send me a link if you think I've missed something or got it wrong. That looks very different with an iPhone than it does uh, with the Coolpix Nikon P1000, P900. I'm going to keep the video rather short so I can interact with people as well out here. And I have already this morning. I meet people from all over the world that come here to enjoy this. So part of what's going on is there is technology that's been deployed in the food, water, air, electronics, information, and linked up humanity in somewhat of a hive mind, a cybernetic collective of humanity with brain-computer interface technology that's being used. So why do we believe what we believe? Is it, is it because it's true or what we want to believe or what we're caused to believe based on this very powerful mind control, population control technology? So, And I also include music videos to engage the heart and the mind. Some people sell their souls for fame and fortune to get all the goodies, all the stuff. They want, some people want the stuff and they want to have a, oh, they want to do their own thing. So doing the, the Bible thing, doing Jesus, what would Jesus want us to do? Well, he's going to cause all of his children absolutely to be born of his spirit. They're going to want it because he's going to cause us to want it, to want him, to have new life in Christ. That's why. I've been doing this for about a decade now whatever this is and um, oh, it's, I love it I love to get to do it so the water's gonna the tide's gonna go out for about another four hours Woohoo! <laughs> that's just what it does I'm glad I moved it in a ways. Got to move it a bit more. So
So the short version, when I meet somebody, help them get a free parking spot, I'll give them a card and just invite them to give me a call if they like, explore my research library if they want to. So we've got ocean waves, sound waves, technology, Skynet, the singularity, the merging of man and machine, quantum supercomputers apparently affecting our reality in ways that few people are aware of. How about that? Free energy systems and devices. We could clean and power the world with water, magnetism, all kinds of uh, documentation of that in my library, if you care to look at it. It's not just me talking about stuff. It's a collaborative effort with friends and family all over the world. Some of them have been killed exposing the truth about these matters. The biodigital convergence, that's part of the linking humanity, insects, pets, everything up with the quantum supercomputers running war game simulations. It's an epic battle between good and evil. How about that? All right, so later when I get home, I will go ahead and upload this to other platforms. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your life. <laughs> this is Robert Forsh exposing the truth about everything that I've found out about so far. Thank you so much.